So this video, there are going to be a few different random bits, kind of different topics that are thrown together, but it's still going to be really important for the next few videos. This kind of sets up the theory for the next few examples we're going to do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is measuring an angle. So just measuring, and then I'm going to say angle. Okay, and the rule is you always have to measure an angle from the positive x-axis. So here we have our x and y. So what does that mean when I say positive x-axis? If you have this angle here, yeah? Basically, you measure it from here to wherever the line is, okay? So this angle here is going to be about, I don't know, 110 degrees, yeah? Um, this angle here, it's always 30 degrees. So that, that may seem obvious, but you always go from this way around, yeah? So if you have... Whoop, bit of a dodgy axis there, but if we have another X and Y axis, and I'll change color. If you have this angle here, you still measure it the whole way around, always that way, yeah? So that angle then is going to be something like, I don't know, 330 degrees. Ooh, 330 degrees, and not 3,330, but, and you get the idea, 330 degrees, just always measure it this way. If you do decide to measure it the other way, okay, then it's minus 30 degrees. Okay, so you can't measure it this way and call it 30 degrees. It's only positive if you go this way around. Okay, so positive x-axis, counterclockwise. If you go the other way, then it's minus degrees. Does that make sense? So that's just the first thing I wanted to clarify. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the unit circle, which is kind of, I just kind of grouped this, all the stuff under the unit circle. So give me two seconds and I'll draw the unit circle out. So there, I just quickly drew the unit circle out. So we have our x and our y-axis. We have a circle with radius 1, so the whole way around this, the radius here, is always going to be 1, no matter where, so it hits minus 1 here, minus 1 here, 1, and then 1. Yeah, you keep going around. And so the point P is just whatever um, point on the outside of the circle that we're talking about, okay? And the cool thing about the unit circle is that this point P, uh, depending on the angle theta, it's always the coordinate. So remember, if you're talking about the coordinate geometry, you always have an X and a Y coordinate. So you have X... Y and that'll tell you where it is. So if it's like three X, it'll be over here. If it's three Y, it'll be up here. Then, um, yeah, as you remember coordinate geometry. And then for the unit circle, though, the coordinates are always cos theta, sine theta. Okay, so the X coordinate always depends on this thing here. So if it's uh, if theta is equal to 30, it's just cos 30, and that'll give you the x coordinate, so it'll give you a decimal point, and sine theta will give you the y coordinate, so how high or low it is. And that works all the way around, even if you go into minus degrees, okay? So, for example, um, if we say that, say, in this case here, theta looks to be about 30, so theta is equal to 30 degrees, then the point is going to be equal to cos 30 sine 30, okay, stick that into your calculator, and you'll get that the point is root 3 over 2 and a half, okay, and if you want to put that into decimal places so we can kind of judge where about it is, we find that it's equal to about 0 0.8, sorry, 0 0.866 and 0 0.5, okay, so if it's 30 degrees, that gives us the coordinates, and you can do that for any any angle at all. You can do it for up to 300, up to 360. You can even go around and say uh, if the angle is 700 or whatever, and it'll still give you the correct coordinate. Okay, so that's just a small thing you need to know about the unit circle. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is... Okay, so here's the last thing we're going to cover in the video. Um, it's called the four quadrants, okay? And this is really, really important. So you see here I have a circle drawn, and it's broken up into four different uh, quadrants or quarters, okay? So this is the first one. This is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. So remember, it always goes like this. You have to remember that. You have to remember this is one, two, three, four. So think of the same way you measure an angle. You always go from the positive x-axis, so it's going to go around in that direction. So one, two, three, four. Yeah? Um, and also, you need to remember these letters here. You need to remember it goes A, S, T, C. Okay? So there seems to be a lot going on, but if you just follow what I'm saying one at a time, it should all make sense. So the A means that everything you measure here, all the like all of sine, cos, and tan, they're all positive. So A for all, yeah, all positive. Okay, this one here, the S. Okay, this stands for sine. So 
that means sine is positive in this quadrant, okay? And it means cos and tan are going to be negative, or they're going to be minus, okay? In the second quadrant, so it's A, S, and the last one, or the third one, sorry, T, is tan. So if you measure uh, the tan of an angle in this one, it's going to be positive, okay? And sine and cos are going to be minus, okay? So all positive, sine positive, tan positive, and the last one then is cos is positive. So A, S, T, C, the last one, cause is positive and if you measure sine or tan of an angle they're going to be negative okay and um, so this is really important you have to have this learned off by heart it's not in any formula book so ASTC it's going to be really important for the next few examples we're going to do uh, about measuring angles so if you look at an angle in like in any of these quadrants you can tell straight away if the sine cause or tan is going to be negative or positive just by thinking back to this uh, these four quadrants here. So we're going to look at some examples now anyway and hopefully it'll be more clear. So I'm just going to try and find some space. Okay, I'll squeeze it in here. So I'm going to cordon this off and start drawing circles. So yeah, I just quickly drew out some examples here and I'm going to go through them all. So the first angle here we have is 60 degrees and that's in the first quadrant. And remember the first quadrant all are positive. So I'm going to go sine of 60 cos of 60, tan of 60. I'm going to put them all into the calculator and I should get a positive answer for all of them, okay? So sine of 60 ends up being root 3 over 2. Cos of 60 ends up being, sorry, ends up being a half. And tan of 60 ends up being root 3, okay? And they're all plus. So our ASTC uh, makes sense so far, so they're all positive. Now in the second quadrant, we're going to do the same. So now I'm going to do sine of 120, cos of 120, and tan of 120. Okay? And if this is true, then only the sine answer will be positive, and the cos and the tan will be negative. Okay? So I'll go ahead and do this. I'm going to find that sine is root 3 over 2, cos is minus a half, and then tan is minus root 3 okay so that's positive and they're both negative so again this is still okay so remember first quadrant all are positive second quadrant second quadrant s is positive then go down here so we have the third quadrant down here so now I'm going to go sine of 240 cos of 240 and tan of 240 so this sine and cos should be negative and tan should be positive. So I'll stick it into the calculator. I'm going to find that this is minus root 3 over 2. This is minus a half. And tan is plus root 3. So again, this quadrant is okay as well. So the third quadrant, tan is positive, and we've confirmed that. And it's not that I'm picking out angles that make it minus minus and plus whatever angle you pick as long as it's in this quadrant only tan will be positive in it okay and then yeah the last one then sine of 300 uh, cos of 300 and tan of 300 and here cos should be positive and the rest should be negative now we stick into our calculator we find that this is minus root 3 over 2 cos of 300 is plus a half and this is minus root three okay so again this is plus the other two are minus and um, so we've confirmed this as well so that's basically uh, I just wanted to show you quickly what I meant by uh, all is positive sine is positive tan is positive and cos is positive so you do have to learn that off ASTC first second third fourth quadrant and um, you also have to know that that at any point in the unit circle the coordinates are cos theta sine theta and that's just a quick example and you have to know that you always measure angles from the positive x-axis so yeah that's a quick just review of everything we did in the video and uh, we're going to look at examples of where this becomes useful in the next video okay so we'll see you then